trying to keep some of that momentum. Kamaria McDaniel leads Michigan State in scoring, misses that shot. Alexander again the offensive rebound. That's already two in this game for her. Kick around to Hageman who drills a three. Eck in rhythm, three-pointer. Nothing but twine. Matilda Eck cashes in on her first opportunity. Bad spacing for Michigan State, but McDaniel's going to launch from deep. Alexander, three offensive rebounds already, and it results in three points as well on the assist to Matilda Eck, who's three for three. Silky smooth with the bounce pass from McDaniel. And another steal from McDaniel. Looking up the floor again. Aral. Deep three. Good for Julia Aral. And this Detroit Mercy team is one of the best rebounding teams in the country. Matilda Eck, four for five from beyond the arc. Up for McNeil as they break the press nicely in the corner. Birch has it, runners, good. And that's about as textbook as it can get for Kate Ochter and her squad on the press break. Fisher on the left side to Hageman. Now Arold, nice set for Michigan State, and Julia Arold's going to knock that one down. Back-to-back -back big games already for Arold as she gets a steal right on cue. Driving, she'll just pull up from about four feet, misses, but Hageman's there to clean it up. Injury problems that have hurt her ability to be on the floor, but if she's able to get back to where she was a couple of years ago and even push past it, it's a big improvement for this Michigan State team. Joiner coast-to-coast, coast, got it to fall. Gatorade Michigan Soccer Player of the Year last year at Forest Hill Central High School. Good on the three. The expectations were understandably very high for Aralt coming into last season. And Aralt's highlight tape, some of the most impressive things on it might be the blocks. Jayla James is into the game for Michigan State. Right side, Fisher cans a three. Trying to drive, Fleeta Robles. Now taken away, McDaniel with five on the clock, racing, trying to get coast to coast, does! And a foul and one. I mean, I think maybe the big thing that stands out is Detroit Mercy, they've been so good at rebounding this year, one of the best in the country, averaging 42 rebounds per game, but trailing in the rebounding category after the first half, 27 to 20. Kavanya Shorence, right side. Gets down low to Troali Porta. Back to Mayana Hooper. Good for three. He's trying to think of some, but I don't think I don't think there are many. By number one. 642 left to play here in the third quarter. McDaniel driving. Reverse layup. Good off the glass from Kamaria McDaniel. Kavanya Jorns right side to Hooper. Kick back to Wally Porta. Sets threes, good. Here's McDaniel, the runner, missed it on the right side. Hageman gets a lucky bounce, but threw it away to Kavanius Jorns, who immediately had it taken away again. Now McDaniel drives, dump pass, Alexander, and one. Bricked it too strong, able to come down with the rebound was Akaya Baker, but not before Osmond could take it away. Halleck had a nice move, but couldn't convert. It's up for McNeil. Bounce pass down low. Nice play, Amani McNeil on the good assist to Amaya Birch. Halleck, kick back, Aralt open for three. Julia Aralt have a day. 30%, but below that mark. But she was someone who, when you look at the, sh the sheet and see one for 13, you're surprised when you see that number because of her smooth shot. Joiner all alone in transition. Now she'll flip it back, but not enough mustard on it, and Birch was there up the floor. Making the layup. Nice job was Birch on the pass from Akaya Baker. One of the best college basketball players, not just now, but that we've seen in a very, very long time. So much fun to watch, and we are just uh, uh, get so much pleasure watching her here in the Big Ten as frequently as we get to. Uh, impressive composure, the way they handle themselves on the floor. It bodes well for the next couple of seasons. And we talked a lot about trajectory. Skorupski pulls down the board. Looks up for Aralt. Aralt floats one to a backdoor cutting. Skorupski and one! Blunt shot fake, has to put up a shot soon. Zeros on the clock. 
No whistle, they'll just let it play out and Michigan State tops Detroit Mercy with a nice win by 50.